friends wow it's been a minute it's super hot today so i am sweating literally sweating um it's been a minute it's really been a minute since we talked and got to catch up and um i decided to do a facetime thing vlog today because we haven't really chatted a lot and i haven't talk to you guys a lot I mean you may not see a difference in my upload schedule for the month of May and the month of June and the month of April that's because I usually do my videos like two months in advance I think the last time it was like two months in advance and you won't see this until maybe July but it's 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 been a weird one for me um, let me talk to you guys about it okay so I haven't recorded at all like for almost a month like from the beginning of the month of May I haven't really recorded anything and even within that time two weeks of May the first two weeks of May I didn't really drew anything um, it's, it's been a rough one for me I don't know why I was just for the drawing part I was just down I wasn't motivated to draw anything and I was thankful that I did my videos two months in advance so that my audience who do see my videos every three to four days don't feel you know oh she's not recording she just automatically stopped so while I was in my slumber you know my videos were already scheduled to go out um, I still respond to all my comments, you know, um, I still go through the social medias, the Instagram, but I really haven't, you know, been enthusiastic. I literally took an entire month off from recording anything. I didn't record, and this is kind of new, it, it feels kind of weird to me because I haven't done it in so long, like an entire month. That I haven't really done anything and maybe I was just a bit down. I started doing mermaid. I did a four prompt mermaid I think or five prompt mermaid. Well it's five prompt mermaid and I joined two prompts together for mermaid. So I did mermaid and uh, I think I did one the first week of May and then like this last two like just a couple days ago. I still have the last one here um to line up because i just feel demotivating and look at the sweat my goodness and um the recording is just i just haven't been in the mood to record i mean there's things that i have to record i do have my green book full of things to do i just didn't feel motivated to do it and i know that i have enough videos to get me across june but in July, I don't think I have enough videos to get me to July. So I need to start putting out videos out there. And I know that this is going to be the first video that is going to go out for the month of July. Okay, so what have I been working on? Um, I have been working on a few stuff. I did mention that I've been working on Mermaid. I found this new... Well, it's not a new paper. Well, is it a new paper? Well, I found this new version of a paper that I bought in my country so I've been testing that out um, I've also been working on a new deep dive I can tell you now so that you know like you know but I'm not sure when I'm gonna publish it because I know definitely I have videos that I need to do for the month of July so I want to get through those first before getting into this deep dive I am doing pastels <laughs> been looking into pastels what pastels are I've um, been working with pastels. I started to read this new book. Well, actually, I've been. I started to read the first book. I have two books that I have scheduled to read for pastels. Um, one of them, let me. I keep. I can't pronounce her last name. Anna. Kro. 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 I have a book by her. I'm just looking for the book. Okay. Let me get this out of the way. I have a book by her, so this one, she, yeah, Cole, this this author here, let me, yeah, 
I have a book by her so yeah let me switch this around for you to read it this author here she made this oil pastel book that I have been reading I will take a snapshot and put it somewhere here for you guys to see and also I got these two books which have been very instrumental um, and this one very instrumental in trying to break me out of this rut that I've been in I think I used this these as inspiration to do color palettes and the last book that I got by the same author Anna Kolesh I can't pronounce her last name this one here but right now I'm reading her book on oil pastels unfortunately it's an electronic book so I don't have it as a physical copy and oh gosh there's so much things uh coming out of my run this is my piece for the last part of mermaid i still have to line it and i think i'll do that today and this is my workbook for my oil pastels this workbook has um just been doing oil pastels for right now you know, so um, I, I can tell you, it's a it's pastels. I'm, I'm doing a deep dive into pastels. Been looking into pastels. What classify things as pastels? Gosh, I am so sweating. What classify things into pastels? Um, so far, what I've learned is interesting. Um, pastel can either be a medium, a style, like a structure, or a color. <laughs> You know, because you do have pastel colors that are colors that are mixed with white, you know, like um, they like to call it macaroon colors. And then you have the pastel style, like things that are supposed to look like crayons is called pastel. I think that comes from a French word. And then you have the pastel itself, which are mediums, which are the oil sticks, the chart pastels, the wax pastels. So it's it gets kind of grayish when you talk about the word pastels. And like I said, this is for my deep dive. So you see, I've already learned so much when it comes to the word pastels. And we're going to discuss all that. What truly are pastels when I do that deep dive? You know me, I'm, I'm going to go in hard. I'm going to go into the water 2,000 feet to find out what pastels are, you know. So I'm working on that. That will take a few months for me to gather. I do have to gather some supplies. I do have to gather some supplies for that deep dive. Uh, I think it's not as much as I had to gather for the gouache because for the gouache I actually did not have much but I think at the time I only had the Della Rami but for the pastel deep dive I've already gathered some supplies already I just didn't show you guys it sorry and um but it's just a couple more things I want to gather before doing that deep dive it's not gonna be like you know tons of hundreds of dollars of oil. um that's about it that's about it um trying to get myself out of the rug, trying to beat the heat in here. I want to put my fan on so badly, but it will start to make noise and it'll soon come in. So I'll just bear it. Um, not much today. I'm going to do a recording. So this is one of two recordings I'm going to be doing today. Um, not sure because I know this like for the first five months in the year 2023 all my uh videos had themes <laughs> if you guys notice may was looking at art sets um june is kind of random i do have the video to complete for those artisa art set i did do the testing for those as you would have seen in june but as for the um the actual illustration I haven't done that yet I do have a secret I want to tell you guys I'm hoping that maybe sometime in this um, batch of recording for July I will be able to tell you that secret um, 
apart from my art addiction, I do have another thing that I like to collect. And I've been collecting a few of them on and off. And I've been categorizing them. So um, I want to show you that. Some of my uh, close YouTube friends know who they are. A few of them had added to that addiction. <laughs> but um, it's been it's been a really good good uh month off literally a really good month off i have rested i have refocused i have um practiced a lot i i really thought that you know i have really evolved really in this month even though i have not been doing anything i have evolved i redid my brush collection i removed all of the bargain friendly brush well I haven't removed all of them, let's be honest. I haven't removed all of them, but I have really categorized all my brushes. Um, I noticed I'm using more professional grade brushes and I'm using more brushes that I like. And I will be discussing that in this um, July part where I'm talking about my evolution. You know, even though I've been on a hiatus, you know, it is. Oh, that room feels so good. It has been a hiatus where I have reinvented my um, my art strategies, not to not to, to you know to because I used to use a lot of very very bargain friendly stuff, things that were challenging to work with, and then I invested in more high quality stuff, um, not expensive stuff, but stuff that are of high quality and um it has been made a world of difference in how i paint and how i color um i have also been and you can see i showed you the two books well the four books that i bought um when it comes to gouache watercolor color palette so i've really tried to evolve my artistic um journey and to to go along much further than i am and that's about it i don't have much thing to talk about besides giving my entire playbook away it is really hot today i feel like i'm burning up and so before i just literally melt away i'm gonna say guys thank you so much for joining me on this journey and as always stay safe stay blessed and i'll see you the next one bye